Welcome to Dark Cable Tutorials. This is episode 6. Animating with active and passive rigid bodies. And here is John, who is going to behave this tutorial. Yes. This is like the 30th take. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Expect a blooper with all the outtakes. Some of them are really funny. Only funny for John. <laughs> Only funny for me. That's right. <laughs> anyway. Well, Let's start the tutorial by grabbing a polygon plane. You can push the X key if you want to just make sure it snaps to the grid. And then just push 5 to fill it in. There we go. Nice polygon plane. Then create a sphere. <laughs> and just drag that up. Now, if you haven't learnt how to create a sphere or a polygon plane, or how to move them, you should probably go back to the previous tutorials. Okay? Because yeah. because I've had a lot of people going to the end tutorial first, and then I get quite a few views on that one, and then the first ones don't. So I have the suspicion that people are skipping to the end, thinking they know everything, and then crawling back to the first episode. Go from one yeah. to six. Not six to one. <laughs> Not good. I am disappointed in you guys. Disappointed. Um, anyway, select your sphere, go into dynamics, which is in the drop down menu, with polygons and animation, which we've already done. Go to dynamics, select the sphere, go to soft slash rigid bodies, and make it a active rigid body. Then click the polygon plane. Go back to rigid bodies and make it a passive rigid body. Now let's see what that does when it plays. Oh, it does nothing because I haven't added any fields to this yet. So let's just change. What's a field, Chris? Well, I'm about to tell you, John. Yeah, to enlighten me. Well, I because John actually didn't know how to do this, so. Yes, I, I did. Shut up. I'm just. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> he didn't know how to do this. I had to give him a personal tutorial. No, I have done this before. I just haven't done it for a while. <laughs> anyway, select the object you want to drop. So in this case, the sphere. Go to Fields and click Gravity. Let's just increase the gravity a little bit because it. Oh, I did increase the gravity, but usually it's it's set around just about magnitude 20, but I've just upgraded it to about let's see 50 and just click apply and close so let's see what happens when I click play now as you can see it drops and bounces that's pretty realistic yeah that's pretty realistic John yes but I'm positive you can make it even better <laughs> yes uh, let, let's just have some fun with this let's uh, click the sphere when I can grab it this this is just a little bit of fun. I've just taught you how to do that. Let's see if you start messing with physics. So if you want to just go down here, you have all these options. And one of these options is bounciness. So let's change that to say, I don't know, 50. <laughs> and and see how we defy physics, shall we? Okay, so let's zoom out and look upwards because this, this will go pretty fast. Pay attention. Oh, that's gone too fast. <laughs> Let's tilt that back. Let's have a look again. Nope, it's going so fast it actually disappears off screen before I can actually see it. Let's zoom out. That should be enough. Nope, there it goes. Whee! That bounce is going faster than the speed of the camera, which defies all physics of the real world. <laughs> so what have we learnt today? How to make objects... <laughs> Thanks, John. How to make active and passive rigid bodies, and that Maya defies every rule of gravity, physics, and any rule applied in this universe. So that's the end of this tutorial. Anything to say, John? That's quite quick. Yes, John, it was quite quick, because it was a simple tutorial. It wasn't that difficult. So, uh, anything to say before we go? Um, yeah, 
Yes, Chris, we are not doing any more tutorials tonight. <laughs> That's what John thinks. 